Hi all, in this video, I'm going to share you guys the detailed info about how to super slow down clip in DaVinci Resolve. For this, we are going to use the speed warp mode available in DaVinci Resolve. Speed warp is a motion estimation method which work based on DaVinci's neural engine to calculate the new frames for slowing down the Clip. On DaVinci Resolve, there is an option where you can specify the amount of motion available on your clip so that slowing down the clip will yield you a more good quality result. So to do that, on your DaVinci Resolve, Project Settings, Master Settings, Frame Interpolation, Motion Range, change that to larger if there is more motion in the clip medium if there is like uh, less motion and if there is no motion or the motion is very less you can change that to smaller another thing i want to mention is that the speed warp mode is very processor intensive mode and after using speed warp mode the chances of your davinci resolve lagging is very high but in this video i'm going to show you guys a way by which you can use this dmg resolve speed warp without hanging your system so to use a speed warp on a resolve select the clip that you want to slow down after that cut out all the unnecessary part which is not required for the slow motion that you are trying to achieve we are doing this to reduce the load on our system as the speed warp is very processor intensive, if the duration of the video that we are using the speed warp is very big, the chances of our system hanging is very high. So that's why we are cutting the clip. So after cutting out the clip, slow down the clip like you do regularly to the amount you want to slow down. After that, head over to the inspector tab, retime and scaling, motion estimation and change that to speed warp. After this, don't play the clip if you don't have an high-end system because chances of your system lagging is very high. Instead of playing the clip, right-click the clip, choose a Render in Place and from the format, select the format that you are going to use on your Render tab to render out the project. After this, select the location to save this footage. Then wait till it to complete the render. After render is completed, you can see the magic of speed warp if there is any distortion in the video that you slow down then you may want to reduce the percentage of how much you slow down the clip so for that first of all we need to remove this render in place for that right click the clip choose a decompose to original then you can see the retime controls reduce the percentage then you can use a render in place again to play the clip sometimes while using render in place on speed warp there's a chance that your DaVinci Resolve force closing itself without any dialog. So at that time, restart your PC and don't open any other application. Just open DaVinci Resolve and do the render in place. It's going to complete the process. Even after following this, if your DaVinci Resolve is force closing, then you can create a new project. Move only the clip that you are slowing down to that new project and do the render in place. And if you are still facing this issue, you can reduce the resolution of your project to one stop below the original resolution. By reducing the resolution, you can reduce the load on your system. So the system can handle the speed warp. And there is another reason by reducing the resolution, we can also improve the quality of speed warp. Here is an example. The video you are seeing, while on 4K, it shows lot of frame distortion. While on Full HD, frame distortion is very less compared to 4K. Also, sometimes after the render in place is completed, on the completed video, you will find some frames of the clip with the media offline. And the solution for that is to re-render this clip. But instead of re-rendering this entire clip, just cut the clip so that you isolated this media offline. After that, decompose that part to original. Then re-render that using render in place option. By following this, you can save a lot of time and processing power of your PC. Now here are some tips that you can use to improve the quality of your slow motion or speed warp. First one, reduce the resolution of the clip. If your video is 4K, 
then reduce it to full hd if it is 1080p you can reduce it to 720p by doing this your pc can handle your speed warp more easily and the quality of the speed warp will also increase another thing is that by reducing the resolution of the clip you are not losing that much compared to water gaining by using speed warp and the second thing is that don't grade the clip while using speed warp first do the speed warp then use a render in place or project export settings to export the clip then only grade the clip by doing this the frame distortion will be lesser compared to while you are using grading and speed warping all together and the third tip i can share is that cut the clip where you are seeing frame distortion into smaller parts then reapply the speed warp so to reapply the speed warp open our motion estimation then from the speed warp change it to project settings then again to speed warp it's going to reapply the speed warp and most of the time the frame distortion will be reduced and the fourth tip i want to share is that as the speed warp is not god mode like i said there will be frame distortion but some other times on some clips while using speed warp the chance of frame distortion and some of the things missing from the clip is very high at that time don't use speed warp use some other motion estimation method like enhanced better or standard better or enhanced faster as it will yield you a good result compared to speed warp lastly if you are feeling like the footage that is slow down is little bit jerky you can smooth that out by using this tip a thing i want to share is that this is also very processor intensive you may want to use the render in place and render cache for this also so open the clip in fusion add a new node called optical flow node after that on the inspector tab advanced settings change the smoothness value based on how much smoothness you need on the clip after that do a render in place again and you can see that the video is smoother compared to before you adding the optical flow node so that's it that's all about this speed warp mode detailed guide i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe